The top eight teams begin the countdown to our final championship next on Quiz Kids. It's the Bay Area Quiz Kids. Brought to you by the San Mateo Credit Union. And now, the best host on the West Coast, Brad Friedman. Hi, everybody. Welcome to Quiz Kids. For the next four weeks, we're going to see our final teams, the Elite Eight, starting today, whittle themselves down to the final four and the top two and see who will be crowned the champion of this season's Quiz Kids. Let's meet our first two teams now. First, we have the Crystal Springs Upland Griffins. <laughs> And these gentlemen are the Bellarmine Bells. <laughs> Welcome, players. Let's get started right away with our first toss-up question. A vast army of ceramic warriors was uncovered in China's Yes, John Chi. The terracotta army. That is correct. For 25 points, Shi Wang Di was the first ruling emperor from which Chinese dynasty that preceded the Han? Qin. That is correct, and for 50 points, the Qin Dynasty emerged predominant from which period of conflict? Warring the Warring States. You got 50 points. <laughs> Here's your next toss-up. It is described as the biggest little city in the world. Yes, Namit. Reno. Right, for 25 points, Reno's first population boom occurred after the 1859 discovery of which metal at the Comstock Lode near Virginia City? Silver. Silver. Right, and for 50 points, which 19th century San Francisco mayor was known as the king of the Comstock Lode? Sutro. That is right, Adolf Sutro for 50 points. <laughs> Next toss up, the MKS unit for magnetic flux is named for him. Yes, Namit. Weber. Sorry? Weber. No, I'm sorry. A car company is also named for which Serbian scientist? Crystal Springs, you can steal. Tesla. Correct. For 25 points, spurned by Edison, Tesla went to work developing alternating current systems for which West industrialist? Westinghouse. Go for it. Westinghouse. Correct. And for 50 points, in 1896, alternating current was first sent to Buffalo, New York from a generating station located near what natural attraction? Niagara Falls. You got 50 points. <laughs> Let's calm down and take a moment to interview you guys. Patrick. Hello, Brad. Hello. You are a senior at Crystal Springs, which I means am. you don't have to do any work for the next month, right? Nope. Not at You school. guys get to do a final project for the last month of school, no classes, and you've got an interesting project. What is that? I'm making a watch. And, and you're making a watch? Yeah. Like a brand new watch out of nothing? Well, I'm actually disassembling one and putting it back together. Oh. It's very, it's very original. It's very original, yeah. yes. I'm sure the people at Apple are nervous. <laughs> Why are you making a watch? You had a kind of an interesting idea there. Well, because I feel like in today's American high school education, people, or you know, at least students like me, don't learn enough skilled trades or artisanal crafts, and yeah. I wanted to have one before I you know, graduated and went into a service-based economy. Absolutely, it's wonderful. Well, good luck yeah. with your watch. Thank you. I'll tell you my wrist size after the show. <laughs> Henry, your yep. tennis team has been doing amazingly well. We have, especially for you know a small school like us. Um, uh -huh. We've actually we've made CCS this year for the fourth year in a row. Congratulations! Um, we went second in our league this year, so our hope is we'll be seated, which would put us automatically into the second round. Um, and we're we're doing pretty well. We're looking forward to it. Nicely served, Henry. Good luck to you, Asha. You were involved in you're involved in your model UN, yeah. and a lot of people talk about the little conferences they go to, but you guys did the real thing, didn't you? Yeah, we went to Cuba over spring break for about two weeks, and wow. we got to meet all the different types of politicians and economists and professors. It was a great experience. Must have been very exciting since Cuba's relationship to the U.S. is changing so much now. Yeah. It must have been a very dynamic trip. Yeah, there was definitely a lot to learn and a lot, um, a lot of people to meet that had different opinions about the Cuban Excellent. and U.S. relations. Good for you, Asha. Hello, Bellarmine and Jarek. You guys are all seniors. You're all graduating. Y'all want to kind of share the good news of where you're going to go to school. Where are you going to go to school? Yes, I'll be going to the University of Notre Dame in Indiana. Right, and your coach wanted to make sure we knew that you were not going on a football scholarship. <laughs> that is correct. I'm not. You going are going to study. I wanted to study either English or medieval studies or some combination of the two. Okay. Well, if you study medieval studies and there's like this big apocalypse and stuff, maybe you can talk to Patrick about making watches and things like that. <laughs> you never know. John Chi. Yes, I am staying closer to home. I'm going up to Berkeley. And we don't have to talk to anyone else because I went to Berkeley and nothing else matters. We are going. We went to the same school. Yes. yes. We'll be able to talk about being bears. Yes. You don't know what you're going to study. Uh, no, I don't well, it's know. It's a huge I'll, university. Yes, I will figure it out when I get there. When you get there. Have fun, too. Thank you. 
Nam it. Where are you going to go? I'm uh, heading south to UC San Diego. And what are you going to study there? I'm going to study electrical engineering. Of course. <laughs> well, I hope you have a great time down there. They got great beaches and stuff like that. Oh, you yeah, look they at how do. the currents make electricity, and that doesn't have anything to do with what you want to study. Good luck to you. Good luck to all of you. And let's continue with our play. Here's your next toss up. Tonight, I feel pretty. And G. Officer Krupke. Our songs from the 19th... Yes, Henry. West Side Story. Correct. For 25 points, in West Side Story, the white working class jets are opposed by this gang with ties to Puerto Rico. The sharks. Right. And for 50 points, which sister of Bernardo, a shark, falls in love with Tony, a jet? Maria. You got 50 points. <laughs> we are tied. Here's the next toss-up. Read out. Number 10 was stormed by troops led by Alexander Hamilton. It protected which Virginia port? Jarek. Yorktown. Right. For 25 points, which French Marquis prevented the British forces from evacuating Yorktown until Washington's troops arrived from New York? Lafayette. Lafayette. Correct. And for 50 points, the British at Yorktown were led by which general who later suppressed the Irish Rebellion of 1798? Cornwallis. Cornwallis. And you got 50 points. <laughs> Next toss-up. Biomolecules of a certain class typically have names ending in A-S-E. Yes, John Chi. Enzymes. Right. For 25 points, one exception to the naming rule is pepsin, an enzyme secreted by which digestive organ? Stomach. Stomach. That is correct. And for 50 points, heating enzymes well above 37 degrees Celsius causes what process in which they lose their three-dimensional shape and become non-functional? Denaturation. Denaturation. That is right for 50 points. Next toss-up. Henry VIII became supreme head of which denomination? Jarrett. Church of England. That is correct. The teachings of John and Charles Wesley inspired which church that split from the Anglican church late in the 18th century? Methodist. Okay. Methodist. You got 25. And for 50 points, William Booth founded this offshoot of Methodism in the 1860s that today is best known for its relief efforts and thrift stores. Salvation oh. Army. Yes. Oh. Salvation Army. You got 50 points. Next toss-up. What city, the capital of the United Province of Canada from 1843 to 1849, is now the second most populous city in Canada? Henry. Montreal. You got it. For 25 points, what is the name of Montreal's National Hockey League team? The Canadians. The Canadians. That is correct. And for 50 points, Montreal lies along which river that connects the Great Lakes to the Atlantic? The St. Lawrence. You got 50 points. What is the name of the popular mid-century color process used on films such as Gone with the Wind? John Chi. Technicolor. That is correct. For 25 points, the first Technicolor cartoon was Flowers and Trees, released by what prolific producer? Walt Disney. Disney. Good guess. For 50 points, Walt Disney's first major cartoon character wasn't Mickey Mouse, but rather Oswald. What kind of animal was Oswald? Sure. And a rabbit? Another great guess for 50 points. That is the end of the round. 150 to 300. We'll be right back, back to see who goes on to the final four. Don't go away. Welcome back. After that first exciting round, it's easy to see that with good coaching, you get a great team. So let's thank our coaches now. First from Crystal Springs, Mr. Keith Carricker. And from Bellarmine, Mr. Chris Fleetus. Thank you, gentlemen, so much. All right. 150 for Crystal Springs. We have three categories today. The point value for each correct answer will be 30 points, and you need five correct answers to take the lead. And then we'll give Bellarmine their shot at recapturing that and possibly going on to the final four. Today's categories are do the climb, do the crime, or do the time. Which category would you like? I reckon we're going to take do the climb. Do the climb. Which country contains each of these mountains? Ready? Good luck. Mount Rainier. United States. That is right. Mount Fuji. Japan. Correct. Mount Sinai. Egypt. Egypt. You are right. Mount Etna. Italy. Correct. Mount Logan. Canada. You got it. And you now have a tie score. 
Mount Kilimanjaro. Tanzania. That is right. You take the lead. And finally, Mount Ararat. Turkey. You got them all right for 360. Very well played, Crystal Springs. Bellarmine, you need just two correct answers, though, and you will win the game and move on to our final four. Would you like do the crime or do the time? Do the time. Let's do, do the time. Do the time. Well, I hope you know a lot about prisons because you need to name these prisons in fact or fiction. Nelson Mandela spent years here before being released. Robin Island. Robin Island. That is right. If you get this one right, you tie the score. Daedalus and Icarus made an ill-fated attempt to escape from this. The labyrinth. The labyrinth? Yeah. Okay. The labyrinth. That is right. You've tied the game. Get one more correct answer, and you win it. The Nazi Rudolf Hess was its last inmate. Is there a Nuremberg prison? I don't know. It's Nuremberg? No, it was Spandau prison. Its storming is celebrated every July 14th. The best deal. Well, you looked confident, and you were right. You have won the game and moved to the final four. Congratulations. Thank you, Crystal Springs, for being a great team this season. We'll be right back with two more teams and another exciting match. Don't go away. We are back. One of these next two teams will join Bellarmine as one of the final four teams. Let's meet them now. We have the Menlo Atherton Bears. And over here we have the Homestead Mustangs. Welcome, Julie and gentlemen. Let's get started with your first toss-up question. Good luck. Thousands of dissidents were disappeared during this nation's dirty war. Name, yes, Brandon. Argentina. Correct. For 25 points, which actress, the future wife of Argentine President Juan Perón, gave a 1945 speech from the balcony of the Casa Rosada? Eva Perón? Eva, Eva, yeah. Eva. Eva Perón. That is right. For 50 points, Evita's supporters were called the descamisados, meaning they were so poor that they lacked even which item of clothing? A shirt. That's for 50 points. Next toss-up. It was commissioned by Vespasian and named for a great statue of Nero. What Roman landmark commissioned could be, yes, William? The Colossus? No, I'm sorry. Oh, what Roman landmark commission could be filled with water for mock okay. naval battles? You can talk it over for a moment, you guys. The Colosseum. The Colosseum. It was the Colosseum, that's right. For 25 points, speaking of water, Rome had 11 of what artificial channels that brought water to the city from as far as 57 miles away? Aqueducts. Correct. And for 50 points, which largest chariot racing stadium or circus could hold a quarter of a million people? Circus Maximus. The Circus Maximus. You got 50 points. <laughs> Next toss-up. Tsai Lung is credited with which invention that displaced a product that Romans imported from Egypt and in his native, yes, carpet? Paper. Correct. For 25 points, the word paper comes from the name for what of what wetland sedge? Papyrus. Okay. Papyrus. That is right. For 50 points, what other Greek name for papyrus named a major Phoenician papyrus exporting port and is at the root of words such as library? Libra? Probably, yeah, go for it. Libra? No, Biblos. Biblos. Right. Oh, Let's take a moment and meet our players from Menlo Atherton. Mason, I understand that recently you prepared for this Elite Eight match with a buddy by doing something very scholarly. What was that? We watched all three Lord of the Rings movies, extended edition. Uh, and and that's, that's about ten and a half hours. My question is, what were you eating during um, those three movies? A lot of popcorn. A lot of popcorn. Probably enough popcorn to feed... A, a small city of hobbits. Mm, yeah. Yeah. Did you enjoy it? Yes. Well, who do you identify with the most? Um. Mm. Yeah, I think you're an orc. <laughs> <laughs> you answer. They answer slowly. You know the orcs don't. They they like. No, I know you're. I know you're Bilbo, <laughs> or Frodo, or something yeah. like that. Good for you, <laughs> Julie. We talked before your orchestra went to Carnegie Hall, and now they've mm -hmm. gone. Tell us about that trip. How exciting. It was amazing. Yeah. The, the hall was amazing. The acoustics were wonderful. And um, I don't think 
uh, many of us realized exactly how nervous we were until we started playing. <laughs> but so. when you heard that applause from that audience after that, that oh, must yeah. have been very exciting. It, it was it was fun, especially just getting to be on the stage. We couldn't really imagine what that would be like beforehand when of we were course. preparing. Well, good for you. What a great experience. Once in a lifetime. Yeah, really. Jasper, very exciting news. This summer you're going to be attending a very prestigious writing program uh, to, to work on your fiction. Where is that? It's uh, Iowa Young Writer Studio. It's part of the Iowa grad, uh, graduate program, I think. Which is an amazing writing program. So good for you. Are you do you have a piece that you're working on now? Uh, I wrote a short story for the entrance um, application, but I'm not nothing in particular. Just going to wing it when you're there, where you're going to get so much great experience. Congratulations. Let's say hi to the Mustangs. William, you want to tell us about a science project that you recently did? Yeah, we were studying whether or not students performed better under time pressure. Uh-huh. And uh, we found out that they did do a little bit better, but it wasn't enough to be significant, so maybe we'll do some further testing on that one. Maybe do some further testing. If you don't, otherwise all, all the tests that we do will have to be untimed, and we'll be just doing it forever. So high school will last like 20 years rather than 12, you know, four. Oh, I hope not. I hope not, too. <laughs> Karthik! <laughs> Karthik, just tell us what your plans are for this summer. <laughs> well, you see, I'm building a quadcopter drone. A quadcopter drone yeah. to sell to the CIA. <laughs> no. Nah, personal use. Personal now, use. for personal use, a drone for personal use. The CIA is now watching this program, so we just got about 30 more audience members. But this is all part of the fact that you are going to the University of Michigan to study aeronautic engineering. Aerospace. Aerospace engineering. Yeah. Fantastic. Thank you. Um, please don't send that drone around my door. <laughs> Brandon, your family got to go on a trip to a very cool city, Chicago. Yeah, that's true. We went to Chicago a few months ago. Uh-huh to see the city and also to avoid Kartik's drone because I knew I was on his list. <laughs> exactly. There are a lot of tall buildings. Yeah. They probably have a hard yeah. time navigating through. But yeah, we went to the top of the Sears Tower yeah. and took stood pictures on the, there. Stood on that Yeah, that yeah, ledge. exactly. That's very scary. And uh, well, good for you. I just went there last summer for the first time. Wonderful, wonderful town. Mm -hmm. All right, you guys. It's 50 to 75. It's close. Let's see how we do with our next toss-up. The Monroe Doctrine was actually formulated by another yes John Brandon. Quincy Adams. That is correct. For 25 points, to win the 1824 election, John Quincy Adams was accused of making a corrupt bargain in which he appointed what Kentuckian Secretary of State? You're going to have to wait till I finish. Okay. Say again? Henry Clay. Henry Clay is right. For 50 points, Adams signed which tariff, which rates as high as 62% that led to the South Carolina Exposition and protest? Go for it. Okay. Tariff of abominations. You got 50 points. Next toss-up. They are given names in alphabetical order that alternate between male and female. What are these storms? William. Hurricanes. Right. For 25 points. Which relatively calm part of a hurricane has a namesake circular wall? The eye. That is right. And for 50 points, the Saffir Simpson scale measures the intensity of or category of hurricanes on a scale from one to what number? Is it five? Five. Yeah, it's five. five, yeah. Five. five. That is correct for 50 points. Next toss-up. It met the CSS Virginia near Hampton Roads in Yes, Carthic. The Monitor. That is right. For 25 points, the USS Langley was the first American version of what kind of ship? Yeah. Ironclad. I'm sorry, that's incorrect. It's the aircraft carrier. Oh, oh wait. No. We will Langley. go to the next toss-up. Johann Rahl was killed leading the Hessians in the 1776 battle at this site. Chris Christie governs New Jersey from what city? Brandon. Trenton. That is right. For 25 points, Trenton, New Jersey is separated from Morrisville, Pennsylvania by what river? Famously crossed by yeah. George Washington. The Delaware. That is right. And for 50 points, Harrisburg, the capital of Pennsylvania, is located along what other river that drains into the Chesapeake Bay? Oh, uh, what's it called? Uh, Hudson. Yeah, yeah, probably. The Hudson? The Susquehanna. Oh. Okay. Here's your next toss-up. Beethoven's Eroica Symphony is written in this key. William. C major. No. Uh, Often associated yeah. with heroic music. What musical key has three flats? E flat. That is right. For 25 points, another Beethoven piece in E flat is his Emperor Concerto, written for what instrument? Cello. Piano. There we are. That is the end of the round. 60 for Menlo Atherton, 210 for Homestead. Who will win and go on to the final four? We'll find out in just a minute. We are back, and we've got our coaches with us. Let's give them a big hand. First from Menlo Atherton is Sue Caton. 
And from Homestead, Mr. Jason Scott. Thank you both for all your hard work. All right, Menlo Atherton, you have 60 points. You need five correct answers, or 30 points each, to either tie or take the lead. I can't do the math, so that's what you need to do. I have three categories for you. They are play it again, anatomically correct, and easy. Which category would you like? We'll do anatomically correct, please. Anatomically correct. All right, here you go. Give these answers, each of which contains the name of a body part, okay? The single vulnerable point of a certain Greek hero. Achilles heel. That is right. One cob of corn. An ear. That is correct. One of the sets of cards in a Monopoly game. Chest. Shoe. Chest. Say. Chest. Chest. That's right, community chest. Uh, the uh, sweet sponge cakes used in tiramisu. Oh gosh, lady fingers? That is right. Toni Morrison's first novel. The bluest eye? That is correct. You now are tied. The site of an 1890 Lakota massacre. Moon's oh knee. That is right. And finally, the HHS program for low income children. Julie? Ahead in the game? No, it's Head Start, there the Head Start program. All right, you do have a lead of 240. Uh, Home said you need one correct answer to tie and two to win. Ready? Mm -hmm. Play it again or easy? Easy, please. Easy, all right. There are words with lots of E's. Which word with at least three letter E's and no vowels mean, no other vowels means the following, okay? A rule enforcer during a football game. Referee. Mm -hmm. That is right. If you get this correct, you will win the game and move on to the final four. A conical tent of the Great Plains. TP. You've won the game and go on to the final four. <laughs> Congratulations, Homestead. MA, great playing this season. We'll see you next week with our four other Elite Eight teams. Bye-bye.